Yeah, that's the thing people don't understand. You know, there's two sides of trading, right? There's shorting. Shorting is just basically the same thing as a long, but a reverse long. You sell before you buy. Um, and so, you know, I always tell people, man, if you're, you know, if you're a short seller, you need to have the discipline to stop out because some of these things go crazy. Same thing with uh, long, though. Long, you have to have the discipline to take your gains before it dumps on you, too. So, you know, there are nuances to both sides. So when you're starting out, try both. Who knows? Maybe you'll like both sides like I used to, right? So, so okay, so go on. Uh, but the, the one thing I liked about Tony, this is what he did, man. He he stalked me. He found me in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like... I'm like, dude, because like when I go, when I go out, I, I, I don't like to see people, man. I, I, uh, I and but yeah, Tony stalked me, found me in Las Vegas. Uh, he went to the win, met me at the win. I tried to avoid him, it didn't work. He kept on following me around, and so here we are, man. So I, I, I commend you, bro. I appreciate that, and I believe in fate, and everything happens for a reason. I still remember that day, man. You and your girlfriend sitting there. And you're like, I'm in, I'm in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit my job. I hate my job. And I'm like, dude, your job making hell of money, you know. <laughs> but you know what, man? When you have a passion and you, you want to do it, you, and I, I like the way you're doing it, man. You know, like you're, you're in it. You not, you don't just say it. You, there's action. You study. You watch the videos. You're, I see you every day in the chat room. You are everywhere, bro. So, you know, congratulations, man. This is well earned. And so, tell us now the good, the, the good stuff, like. Um, I seen you in the discipline workshop and I seen that crazy pull up that, 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 uh, trade chart where you had the green, like days of green. Like, did you get an all month of green? Um, two red and all green for the discipline. Discipline is really good. Show, show, allow show us that chart. Show us that. Do you have that? Um, I don't. It's Cause, somewhere. Cause I remember, um, I remember Steven posted it. Yeah. But that's good, man. You'll have two red days, right? So, right. and you're using the max daily loss and all those things that we're telling you, right? Correct. Hard stops, max daily loss, loss. I mean, loss per ticker, max shares, everything. That's the game changer, man. Because what happens is you can make money 10 days in a row. But that one red day is a scary day. A lot of people lose all their 10 on that one red day because they use the cushion all that. So that's why you have to have your max day loss on a liquidation at the broker level so you don't touch it. Set to it one to two days max only. So you can only give back one to two days of loss. Because a lot of people, what they do is, man, they, they, they work their butt off for a month and then the last day of the month, they, 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 they think they're up, they have a cushion, and next thing you know, dude, that one loss wipes out their month of hard work or more. And so... I'm telling you, this is, I love the fact you're using hard stops. I'm, I'm glad that you're following the rules, which is basically risk management. Risk management is the, the key, the key to being a successful day trader. Risk management is the, is the key to being success in life. Your body has a built-in max daily loss auto liquidation. Like if I drink too much, I throw up. That is my auto liquidation, right? <laughs> you, you take 20 shots, 10 shots, you throw up and you pass out. That is like basically the broker telling you, you're done drinking. You're done trading shots. <laughs> you, you're done. You're done for the next day, right? So, you know, thank God that uh, same thing with day trading. You have the max daily loss on uh, the broker level. I, I have, uh, you know, your body has the same thing. You know, you, you're out for the next day. So that you lose a day. Every time you, you drink to the point where you throw up, you lose a day. <laughs> same thing with, the, with trading, guys. So, uh, so what, are your, what are you working on to improve and where – what would you like to do? You have you thought about like where where you found success, and can you give some advice to to the struggling traders out there? Um. Okay. So what I'm working on is trusting myself more often and having more confidence in my own trades. I mean, I I have enough confidence, but you know, I can always use more sometimes. You, yeah, because I remember you you were really afraid to place uh, trades. Yeah, so, because so I told you the the first trade that you usually do on a stock is the is the most profitable, the easiest, right? You're right. And I, I suggest <clears throat> you size that up a little bit. Is the subsequent trades that doesn't work? So did did so did you do that or did you do something else? Give some advice uh, on how you overcame this fear. Um, I did do that. So <clears throat> usually the first time when it spikes up. It works because it's so volatile and it's something called the first resistant test. When it tries it for the first time, there's a good chance that it will tank at the right levels. <clears throat> the second time, 
you know, there's more people who got out or who sold so it can hold and it can push further. So, um, you know, size up the first time, which is usually the best. And how did I overcome that? I, I just kept doing it over and over and seeing it that it works. And when it works most of the time, hey, sure, why not? And if I do get stop out, then that's fine. Um, but one thing that I'm really working on right now is holding uh, longer for winners because I feel like my entries are really good, but my my exits, oh man, it can always get better. Yeah, like like we, man, I mean, I we leave so much on the table. Um, mm. so you know, I've I've always been working on that. Is the personality, in my opinion, I'm a control freak. Uh, so I you notice I've been holding a lot longer too. So just I right. seen you too. So it's great because our entries are really good. It's just. We're, we're so quick to take the problem because we, we yeah. see money on the floor. We want to pick it up. <laughs> right. right. Uh-huh. And so I'm, I'm glad that, you know, the, and it's only been like, my God, man, a year and a half since you joined MIC. So, I mean, so, yeah. uh, so do you, do, do you really enjoy trading now? Like, so you had your dream, your dream was to become uh -huh. a professional day trader for a living. How, how is that? Are you living the dream? Do you think this is what you're going to be? I mean, for I, me, it's like, I'm, I'm, I thought it'd be glamorous. I'd be bottles and models and Lambos and stuff. But here I am sitting in home <laughs> talking to a bunch of dudes that I've never seen on the internet. <laughs> I actually enjoy it because the thing is, it's the one profession that I can work for myself and help other people <clears throat> without any rules or regulations or, you know, that's it. I can just teach other people without other people saying that no or it's the right or wrong way um about and, are, are you financially okay are you stressed out you know being you know this is basically your own business man but right. it's a business that's not guaranteed you can go to work all day and uh, mcdonald's will make more but i like the challenge it's i strive for challenge because in my other previous job it was you know i i learned everything i need to learn i did everything i need to do and there wasn't much of a challenge anymore, and it got boring. So with this, I can always challenge myself internally and externally. You know, I can understand more about myself and learn how to help other people overcome their obstacles as well. Because that's what I focus on, human ex excellence. Well, excellence. wasn't human that before you were, you, before were you some psychologist or something? Yeah, I was. Um, I, I worked in the psychological field, uh, and I emphasize on – behavior analysis uh, yeah behavior analysis so basically i just analyze other people's behaviors to understand what they did what was their outcome and the last thing is who they become because the most important thing is after you achieve all of those who are you going to become are you going to become a piece of shit or a great person or a person who gives back <clears throat> that's the most important outcome in any success did, did you do you use that to analyze yourself yes that's, that's why I take. That's why I put myself in all those positions of you know FOMO, greed, fear, or you know holding longer. What, 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 did you, what did you study in school? What was your official major? What did you, what did you graduate? Psychology. 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 Mm -hmm. Do you have a BS, an MS, a uh, MS? So Alex, this is great. You hear this? I mean, this is a true trader who is also a psychologist. This is like the dude. This might be your calling, man. Combining both, both what you love trading and your. And your background now, you you know, because there's not many trading psychologists that are legit traders as well. So this could be a great niche for you in the future, man. I mean, this is, if you combine it, this is a great area. Like, so once once you become more comfortable with trading, dude, Alex, we can set up a a channel where it's like a this is your discipline workshop, bro. This is <laughs> mental aspects of trading, and so you and you and Stephen could be like, dude. And James, you know, I mean, I, I really, I'm really excited for this because uh, I, I remember that's why I'm, I'm waiting for you to get this level. Now you're, you're using uh, your school and your, your, your other experiences. I mean, this is, this is great, man. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's fun too, because, you know, it's, it ties in with everything that I do. Because so. uh, psychology stuff is really important aspect of trading, as you know that. It's uh, and so I keep telling people there's two things in um, there is um, like the mental side to keep you disciplined, but then the, we're humans, man. We get greedy, we do stupid stuff, right? Uh, we're just flawed, and so that's why that technology is very important. Do what it takes to to make sure you don't kill yourself. That's why 
cars have seat belts, airbags, all that. And so multiple layers of risk fence around your account, such as hard stop, max lady loss, broker level, things like that. You know, and then you also have the tab trading accountability bet, uh, buddy and stuff like that. So I so use technology in conjunction with the mental aspects. But I guarantee you, man, I have a bad day, um, uh, a bad sleep. I fight with my my girl. I fight with my family. Whatever I mean, I you know, your brain just goes crazy, right? So yeah. days like that, you need a hard stop. You need max day loss because there are days where I don't give a damn anymore. I'm just screw it. I'm all in. I'm fucking so pissed off. Why do I need you know? Because your life is in chaos or whatever the hell it may be. So I always tell people there's always two sides to training, guys, to keep yourself safe. Two sides to risk management. Mental, mental can go like this. But that's why you also need you also need technical, right, which is the max state of loss uh, stops and things like that. So, But thanks, man. So now you what? So, I mean, congratulations. I, I, don't, I don't even want to tell you congrats, man. I was like. I feel, I mean, I, I mean, I hope you, <laughs> you know what you're getting yourself into. Now everyone's going to start hitting you up. And then, I mean, but this, this is what you love, man. So I, you know, um, any last comments, guys? I mean, uh, uh, Tony, to, what's your advice to the, to people listening that are struggling? What, what, because you're a psychologist, <laughs> you know, um, you're yeah. actually, you know, certified. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. So I, I wrote down 10 things, um, advices for people to listen to is uh well this is my process uh number one is being able to observe yourself to know how you're going to react in the market or during the trade uh number two is having discipline in sticking to your plan when you place a plan stay with it but then modify it as you go it's uh it's dependent on the price action two you need to have an edge because the thing is if you have an edge you know you're expected of a of a strategy of a win rate or i mean uh just a strategy who cares i'm gonna go on um and accept that you are alone responsible for everything that you do so don't blame it on the market don't blame it on other people you know blame it on yourself and take responsibility number five is there is no holy grail I've learned that when I first started, I tried every indicator possible, but then I realized that going back to simplicity is the most effective. Simple line to line, support and resistance, pivot lines, it helps, it works. Um, six, trusting yourself. You know, Trust yourself to take the trade because sometimes we get so caught up in different chat rooms or different ideas. Um, just trust your own self through experience and time. Uh, seven, being able to stand up after being being down. You know, even though it's really tough, just keep going because over time we'll learn how to modify ourselves and adjust and be better. Uh, eight, being lucky from time to time. Have that mind, mindset of being lucky from time to time because, hey, you know, sometimes we get home runs, but if we can consistently get take small profits every single day, that's all that matters, and it adds up. Uh, nine, keeping, for me, I like to keep a mental trading journal and then reviewing it after. Mental as in, you know, I, after the trading day, I sit in meditation for maybe five, ten minutes. I review what happened mentally, and I try to visualize of how it went and what I could have done better. The last one is don't panic. If it's going against you, don't panic. Just, you're going to be red first as a short before you become green. Or you're going to, you know, vice versa. Stay calm, but use your emotions as your guide during the trade as well. And those are the 10 things that I wrote down for myself. And I advise people to give it, um, try it out for themselves as well. Man, you are very calm. Even <laughs> this, um, this uh, conversation with you, you're so calm. I mean, <laughs> you, are you, I mean... Uh, are you always like this when you trade or I mean, what happens when you're like, are you get, what happens when you get frustrated? Cause like, you know, from, from always professional psychologist point of view, you know, like how do you manage to control your emotions? Cause even you telling me this, you're so calm. It, uh -huh. That's, that's a good quality to have as a trader actually. But people like me, man, I go crazy. I curse. I'm all over. Right. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, just like look, the rain, you know, it, it builds up, it happens. And then it goes away. With emotions, it typically lasts for uh, 90 seconds. 
Just remember that. It typically lasts for 90 seconds. And during that 90 seconds, then it all out. Take a walk, stand up, do something, and then come back. That's, That's about a it. very good point, guys. 90 seconds. Just count to 90 or something. You could walk around. Because that's right, man. In 90 seconds, that's the difference between you blowing up or not. <laughs> that's, <laughs> literally, that's the 90 seconds you're adding to a loser, and then it holds up, and you're dead. <laughs> right. So 90 seconds. I like that. So you're, you're hearing professional advice. 90 seconds. Yeah. And if a person keeps doing that over and over, they train their body to react to that 90 seconds so that they can – lower it down to 60 seconds, 30 seconds, 10 seconds, 5 seconds, and then, you know, they'll be okay. So it's what if just practice over what if, over. what if 90 seconds I'm still pissed? <laughs> That's fine. Some people some people takes longer. Sometimes you got to vent even more, scream your heart out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm still venting from shit that happened uh 3 years ago, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but thanks man. I, I I mean you, you are correct. Cause I'm I'm a very emotional person, man. I my problem is I react right away. So I mean I'm, I'm I, to me that's honesty, but that's really stupid too, right? Because I don't really think things through. And so you really helped me there, man. Ninety seconds, I like that. Cause a lot of people say, hey, calm down. You know the worst thing to tell someone when they're pissed is calm down. I'm like, <laughs> calm down. But then you like, you know take a deep breath. It works. Walk around, come back, and you feel great. You're right, man. Ninety seconds. But that 90 seconds when you're mad seems like an eternity too, right? It seems like a long yeah. time. Yes. <laughs> so this is good. You have these written out. Uh, we will post that as a PDF or something in, into the room and pass it out because I think this is really great. This is, you know, you're a trained psychologist, man. So you got a master's in this stuff. And you've, yeah. done, you know, you, you've done this for a living, right? So right. this is great, man. I mean, this is, this is something that's really valuable asset to the community, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate you too. All right, man. Thank you. Let me bring on Alex and then uh, congrats, man. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hey, and we appreciate, it, man. This is this is awesome. You you see the the, the members that are in my in my my C is just amazing stuff. I mean, I don't think people know that you are a psychologist, bro. Let me see. Let me let me move. Okay. I'm gonna leave. Okay. Let me let me try to figure out how to add Alex. Okay, I removed Alex. Oh shit! I removed him. Oh, I think. <laughs> let me wait for Alex to come back in. I actually kicked him out of the, the chat. You in here, Alex? Oh, crap. Uh, Alex going to tell you some of the stuff that's going on. Uh, I think we, uh, you know, back to, uh, we, I think, what's that? Dude, there's Black Friday coming up, so we're going to have a big sale. But uh, in the meantime, you want early access to the Black Friday sale, guys? Hit up, um, hit up um, Tosh. Tosh, you around? Oops, I think I kicked Alex out. But uh, all right, guys, I guess I'm going to leave you uh, like this. Just check up our Twitter and all that stuff. I'm going to do my Instagram. So I can't screw it up. All right, guys, thanks, Tony. Thanks, everybody. Uh, for early access to the Black Friday sale, hit up Tosh. Okay, guys, uh, you know where to find us. Hey, thank you, everybody, coming in. We'll see you back in the chat room. Now we have a trained psychologist in the MIT. That's That's freaking amazing. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, guys.